What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Transistor. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we continue our adventure through this digital town to find out what's been going on with the Camerata. And so we've got an OVC terminal right here. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Guess you should be flattered. It was nothing personal, you know. You were valuable. Handpicked. Unique. But one of many. All we needed was your point of view. To give the people what they didn't know they wanted. That's all we ever wanted. All Grant ever tried to achieve. The rest was merely incidental. What good could four individuals ever hope to accomplish in this city with only their own four voices? Well, we found our answer. You have it right there, in your hands. Fire back a response. The ringleader's right upstairs. Alright, and so we landed on the launcher over here. I think this is the one that we want. Round and round. round and round indeed. We'll figure something out eventually. We've got a maintenance shaft. Backstage access. She traversed those stairs really, really rapidly. I mean, she must be working on leg day super hard to be able to go upstairs like that. That was some top class stair climbing. Not now. Spawns bad cells, so we gotta watch out for landmines from this thing. However, I just converted it to my side. I forgot to tell you guys, I messed around with all of my little abilities in between this episode and the last one. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go to here. And can I get them both from here? Oh, I can. Good. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll do a jaunt. Another jaunt. Basically just jaunting a lot. Doing lots of jaunty things, and then we'll go over by this weed here. Which totally is non-suspicious, I promise. Or I could just go like that. Oh, yay! Let's go for that. So we've gone ahead and wiped him out. Then we put out another one. There it is. Oh, the weed blocked it. Okay, so that's not going to work out in the end. However, considering that thing's on our side now, let's see if we can't get rid of you. We'll teleport through the wall right there. I'm going to try and stay out of the way. We'll open with a breach because you guys said it makes the next abilities more effective, so we'll try that. There's a little bit of damage, and before she can turn around, anything else? No, not quite. Well, it was worth a shot. We'll see what happens. Did we pick up what we needed down here? I don't think that we did. Get rid of those shadows. Oh, those things are actually... okay. Well, that becomes problematic. Let's go back to where we started here. I want to make sure that... I do this as efficiency as, or as efficiently as possible. Can I get them both in any way, shape, or form with this? Okay, I can't get them both. So I guess my move here would just be to breach. Breach. Hope they don't move. And that's all that I can do, actually. Okay, let's pull the trigger on it. Literally, because I pull the, light, the right trigger every time I do this. Oh, okay, so we didn't get them. I'm going to try and put as many copies around as I can. Oh, and walk right in front of a laser right there. Probably not the best advised plan. Just going to try and keep moving. Oh, that didn't take me where I wanted to go. I want to go over there. There we go. And so then after the jump, we'll open up on the lady right there. We'll go for a couple of backstabs. Make sure that we don't get lasered. Oh, and there it is. A little bit of the finisher. Oh, and they came back. Well, damn. I like how I have little heart bubbles now around all of my attacks because they convert the enemy to my side like that one right there. It seems to work out fairly well, too. Like, it happens a lot of the time. It seems like the conversion rate is very, very good. But it does appear as though... Hey, get out of here, bad cell. They will never tear us apart. This man never drops his sword. Well, occasionally I do, just when I go out in public, though. But anyways, let's go ahead and we'll go to the OVC terminal. Knew it. Should be another one just like this, other side of the tower. Firewall override one of two. Authorizing. Bracket Tower's rooftop access is currently closed. Please contact an authorized administrator and maintenance or archive wings to release lift override 2 of 2. This is a security precaution. Ready for more? 
Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. No jumping in the lift, okay? <laughs> I know people who are like that. They always got to jump in their elevators. The mess with everybody. Like, oh, dick move. Okay, so that OBC is taken care of. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a few off and we'll see what we can accomplish on some of these little challenges. Typically, I don't like them very much, like time-based challenges, but we can try. Looks like we've got ideas in the hammock. Oh, never mind. I guess there's no ideas in the hammock. Our hammock is empty. And we just got something in our eye, too, to make matters worse. Hi, well, I don't feel like playing with the ball right now. Let's go ahead and do planning test, I guess. Door number three. We're surrounded. Okay, and so we have to terminate everybody in one process. Oh, they move my, okay. They move my keybind around. I don't think we're gonna have enough to get between both of them and make this happen. Oh, we might, I don't know, let's see what happens. I think we ran out of time right there, but. Oh, wait, Never mind. Did we succeed? Oh my! We managed to succeed right there where others have failed, or I guess I don't know if anybody else has failed right here. There's no paperwork indicating anything like that. We unlocked music and we got a little bit of free XP. And then the door will remain closed from now on so that we can feel like got we've it. accomplished something in life. Oh, there's seven of them? Holy hell. Oh wow, that's a lot of tests. I didn't realize that they just kept upgrading and upgrading and upgrading. Yeah, I'm probably definitely not going to do these on camera. Just because that's far too many tests. Let's see here. What can I do to him? Terminate the enemy process in one turn. He's got 525. What about backstabs? Interesting. So you go one right there. That's not going to be enough. What about this? Still not going to be enough. Okay, so we can go like so. And then almost. So maybe if we go all the way around the back for the entire thing, We'll be able to- there it is. We'll be able to accomplish something magical. And so we've busted him into pieces, and we have taken his cells. We will now use them for microbiological no good. I mean, it seems to be that you could actually level yourself up quite a bit if you wanted to go through and do all these tests. You're talking about 70% per test that you complete if you can do all of them. And there are five doors right here, so... There's probably about three additional level ups right here if you can go ahead and get them all done, but it seems like it's going to be very time consuming and possibly, I mean, I don't mind this one quite as much. I just don't like time trials. Time trials irritate me. So what do I have now? I've got ping. That ping is blocked. So that means I come up to here, move over to here, that final ping's going to be out of range, but I think I can get them all. There we are. Like Alright, not so bad. Doing okay at the efficiency test, although we're only on number three right now. Extra 10%. I'll probably just go for the level up right here. And once we have the level up, we'll go do something else. So that we don't spend an entire episode just fiddling around with challenges that I'm not sure everybody's going to care about one way or the other. Oh, okay. So they close it off. They actually bottleneck you slightly. Okay, well, we've done enough tests for today. Let's go ahead and we're going to step on out, return back to the real world, Cloud Bank. Or I guess the faux real world, I guess, considering the whole thing is digital. You can't really honestly call it... You can't really honestly... Hmm. 
Okay, so it looks like we're going to the archive gallery now. Storage archives. We'll just take a peek. Just a little Somewhere peeky peek. Here, there's a file on everyone in town. Safe and secure. Hey boys. Been a while. Okay, so he's on my side now. As is he. Well, kind of. Can I hurt them while they're on my side though? They have gravity beams that suck you in, don't they? Oh, I can, okay. Let's see what I can accomplish here. Try and be some baddie. No, laser my clone, don't laser me. Convert as many of them to my side as I can. To at least buy me a little bit of space. Oh, you can't fire across, okay. Crash him in the front, spin around to the back, get a couple backstabbies in. There it is, another one down. I'm actually pretty glad that you guys brought it to my attention that Crash was a comboing type deal, because that was something that I hadn't been made fully aware of. So once you get a combo, it appears as though you can do way more damage. In fact, it multiplies maybe by two or three times. Another 10%. A lot of these little plink fights that don't necessarily give you a lot of XP, but at the same time take a little bit of thought. One, 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 one. I agree. What is this? Those things are bright pink, and they appear as though they might be best found inside of some kind of laser tag facility. Although this entire game could take place inside a laser tag facility, and I don't think anybody would bat an eye. Although, why you would want to bat somebody's eye, I'm not really sure. Seems like a really unkind thing to do. Grab that. I'm pretty happy with my loadout right now. Probably all sorts of dirt on the camera tucked away around here. Straight ahead. What if they even want with us? Oh, they have self-shield now, too. How do I fix that? How do you undo self-shield? Interesting. Let's put some damage on it and see if it folds. Okay. So with the self-shield present, it then becomes pertinent to, I guess, knock them out of each other's range so that they no longer function properly. We'll grab that right there. And since he doesn't have self-shield right now, we'll go ahead and start off like that. Just little combos right here. No need to spend a whole bunch of our energy and our turns taking care of business that doesn't require that many abilities. And then on this side, we will probably do the same thing. Oh, wrong ability. We'll go crash. How's that going to work out for me? Works out okay, but cannot harm friend. Okay, so that's like a big disappointment. I was hoping that you could just take them out. Even when they were on your own side, you could be like a Sith and just backstab your own side as much as you needed to. Ah, the end of the combat. Who else? And there's our level. We're getting there. Let's have a look and see what we've got new. We've got Cull. As an active slot, it strikes nearby targets upwards with tremendous force. As an upgrade slot effect, it raises the kinetic impact and effect duration of most functions. And a passive slot effect, it harms targets on contact while in turn mode. So while you run past people in turn mode, you'll be doing damage to them. You become basically... Oh, I don't know. You become hot lava, much like the floor when you were a child. You become hot lava. The other ability is called Purge, and its active slot effect spawns a seeking parasite that dismantles a target from within. Its upgrade slot effect applies a corruption effect to most functions, so I guess it's some kind of like dot or damage over time effect. The passive slot effect retaliates automatically whenever you're hit, so it gives you a little bit of a thorns type retaliation. I don't know which one is better right here. I'm interested in the kinetic impact and effect. I'm also interested in the applying corruption effects to most functions here, so I think I'll probably go with Purge, just to see how it helps out. We also get new permissions, so we can add a passive slot, or we can add an upgrade slot. I'm going to add an upgrade slot to... We'll add it to our B button, because we've been using that quite a bit for our crash ability, or our breach ability, or whatever it's called. The one, the giant laser, the giant death laser, the GDL. And then we can also go new limiters. The first one is causes processes to respawn from cells in a much lower time. 
The other one, the process will sometimes spawn twin cells when terminated. Okay, we'll just pick one kind of arbitrarily right there because I don't think they're ever going to get used. Just not going to do it because I'm not going to make life hard on myself if I don't have to. I like life to be soft and squishy and untrained. Unready for what might be ahead. Some kind of break room up there. Guess if you're going to spend hours poring over files or running half across town, eventually you're going to need a break. Go ahead. It's open. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. Just hurry back. <sighs> Apparently we needed to relieve ourselves digitally. Well, I guess nature calls, even in digital nature. Let's be on our way. We're on the top level. Oldest archives. Photo Looks like we made a couple friends right- oh my god. That's new. An uncertainty generator. Okay, well I'm actually just gonna crash right there so that I get back in here. Leave a bunch of decoys. And with the uncertain degenerators, it means we have to get really, really close to them before we can accomplish anything. Makes sense. So let's go for the breach combo right here. Oh, we teleported out of the way. Forgot he would do that. Alright, well, trying to remember things as best as I can. Oh, and we also have a generator over here. Let's go ahead and handle the cheerleader. If I can get him as like a side effect, I'm going to try. Although I wasn't paying very good attention to where he was hiding at. Hey, we still got him. Nothing to be ashamed of right there. Let's go ahead and leave some decoys around. Something for them to think about while we wait for our turn to be back up. We'll grab that snapshot with a breach. And then part of it's kind of me trying to figure out how often they can teleport and how frequently they can get outside of our range. Okay, so it's a snapshot right here. Let's see if we can do breaches. He may just teleport, but there's no telling. Oh, we got one. Good. And we dodged the little ball lasers that were coming at us. It's a double whammy. We managed to murder some guy, and we didn't even get hit for it. Always a good thing. Come over here. Put that on him. See if maybe we can get a combo going. Get them into the negative health range, which always makes me happy. I prefer that my enemies always be at negative health rather than positive. Yeah, stop taking pictures of me. I know I'm famous, but seriously, paparazzo, be nice. There's no need to exasperate the situation. Exacerbate? There we go. Exacerbate. Not exaggerate. Not exaggerate would work too. What did I say? Eh, I said something. I've already forgotten. It's the curse of being Splattercat. On the top side, I don't see anything off this direction. And so, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's anything else for us to investigate on this level. I will save right here in case something goes wrong. I can't tell you what that something going wrong is. However, it's worth a shot just to make sure that it doesn't happen to us. Oh, another creep. Let's go ahead and convert him to our side. Convert you to our side as well. And then we'll try and figure out where the cheerleader's at. There it is. Let's go ahead and give the cheerleader... Not a spark, I'm sorry. We don't want the spark. We want a crash. And we want a breach just to get you on out of the way. There it is. The cheerleader is no longer a concern, although we should probably gather up his cells. See if I can convert somebody right there to my side. Honestly, you don't even really have to fight the battles if you can get everybody converted. Although, you don't want to convert everybody. Unless you're trying to do something like this right here. Let's go for everything. Let's just unload. Whatever we can manage. Alright. And so let's put a bunch of decoys down. I am really feeling like the utility of our build is coming into its own. I'm going to convert him and then he can sit and fight the other snapshot and just mess with him. Convert him one more time just to make sure he stays out of our hair because it's looking fabulous right now and I don't want it messed up by anything. Go in for the kill right here. Nice and fast. Take him out before he even knows what happened. And then we'll wait for this gent over here, assuming that it's a male. I don't know. I haven't checked the robot's genitalia. I feel like I might be violating some kind of union protocol if I do that. Oh, I'm in behind you. You thought that you were sneaky. Goodbye. Oh, never mind. You're still alive. What is that shenanigans? All right. Should be some kind of override. I think I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerdcastle for another episode 
of Transistor by Supergiant Games. I am pleased to have you along with me for this graphical, beautiful ride. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody.